Greetings everyone, this is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon and in this weekly video tip I want to show you a couple of new features we've built into the editing function when it comes to the editing of chords. So let's go ahead and get right to that. As you can see on my screen I have a song open and let's just select um, this G flat chord here. If we right click the first thing you're going to notice is there's a split chord function. This is something that a number of people have asked for. If you select it, it simply splits this chord exactly in half. So that's the first change that we've made. Second thing, if you right click and then edit, what you will see now is that you can actually adjust the starting and the ending times of this chord. So you can adjust the chord duration. So Right now it runs roughly from 2.3 seconds to 3.3 seconds. Um, if we wanted to change this from 2 seconds to 3 seconds here, so now we're going to have a chord, this first chord bubble here, that's approximately only a tenth of a second. So I've selected that. Let's click OK. And as you can see down here, it's barely visible. We're going to have to zoom in a couple more times to blow it up so you can actually see it. And there it is. Let's zoom in a couple more times. And there it is. You can see that it in, indeed is a G flat chord, but it's only about a tenth of a second. And then the last thing that we've done, let me zoom back out here so it's a little more easily seen, is that we have implemented a feature, right click, edit, that if you wanted to change this chord or any chord in this sequence of chords down at the bottom. Here we're looking at a G flat chord. If we wanted to change this, let's say to a G flat minor chord, and then we wanted to change this chord as it appeared throughout the song, we would select this box over here, which says apply to all chords of the same value. So we select it, we click OK, and now every G flat chord it's going to change to a G flat minor chord. So let's go ahead and apply it and then just do a quick check. So this has become G flat minor. Here's another G flat minor. Here's another G flat minor. All of these previously were just G flat. If we do an undo real quickly, we can see here G flat, G flat, G flat. If we do a redo, G flat minor, G flat minor, G flat minor. And again, it changes that throughout the song wherever it appears. So those are three new changes that we've made to the chord editing feature in Song Surgeon. I think you'll find them helpful. They'll increase your flexibility, also increase the ease in which you can edit chord values in the song. And oh, by the way, and I think most of you understand this, but any changes you make in these bubbles will be reflected in the chord viewer here as it plays through. So with that, we'll conclude this weekly video update on Song Surgeon. Thanks for watching.